December 23rd is the day we flew around the world without stopping, and the day SpaceX sacrificed a rocket to win the war. Let's start in 1986. Exactly 39 years ago today, the Rutan Voyager finally touched down in California. Pilots Dick Rutan and Gianna Yeager had been in the air for nine days straight without refueling. The plane was basically a flying fuel tank made of carbon fiber. On takeoff, the heavy wings scraped the runway, snapping the wingtips off. Rutan didn't sleep for the first three days. When they landed, they had only a few gallons left. It remains the ultimate aviation road trip. Fast forward to 2018. Seven years ago, SpaceX launched the Vespucci GPS satellite. This was a massive deal because it was their first ever national security mission for the U.S. Air Force. For decades, Boeing and Lockheed held a monopoly on military launches. But look closely at the rocket. There are no landing legs. The satellite was so heavy they needed every drop of fuel. They deliberately sacrificed the booster to the ocean just to get the job done. Way back in 1672, astronomer Giovanni Cassini discovered Rhea, Saturn's second largest moon. It's a frozen, dirty snowball of rock and ice. Centuries later, we found out it even has a thin oxygen atmosphere, the first one ever found on a moon. And in 19 May, the Apollo 8 crew crossed the invisible line where the moon's gravity becomes stronger than Earth's. It was the quiet point of no return, from icy moons to endless flights.